everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is about my recent mystery box from Glitterati, the elusive, irresistible Glitterati. I have my box right here. It just came this morning, and I took a small glance at these, but I didn't sniff all of them. And uh, Glitterati is owned by Janine Genzano from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Chapel Hill, I used to live in South Carolina as a child, and my husband is obsessed with sports and would love to go to uh, a Duke, North Carolina basketball game, one in Chapel Hill and one in Durham, you know, where Duke is. But um, I always think of that whenever I think of Janine in Chapel Hill. But let's get started. Um, the, the mystery box is, I think it's 12, 12 chunks. I'm pretty sure it's 12 chunks. Um, whereas if you win in her group on either the newbies or the Sunday random drawings, drawings, I think it's six shot cups, six chunks, and a mini loaf. I think that's what it is. But let's get started. So she always puts Twizzlers in here. I give these to my husband. I'm not a Twizzlers fan. Um, the, I just don't like licorice, but that's okay. My husband gets all the candy for the most part out of the boxes. Okay, first chunk. Country berry hotcakes, blueberry, and confetti cupcake. This is really good. Um, I, 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 this sounds really good, I should say. Mmm, definitely, definitely. First thing I get is the country berry hotcakes and the blueberry. And I should say... Next Monday is the next time to sign up for her customs. You know, the first 100 me's. Really, really hard to do. I tried last year. I was nowhere near <laughs> getting it. But put it out into the universe. It might work for you. I did put out into the universe. I would hope to get a pistachio blend at some point, And I did this time. So you never know. Luck could be on your side. So this one is, it's definitely country berry hotcakes, but you also get that blueberry in there. I'm not getting so much confetti cupcake per se, but that cake usually comes out when it's warmed up. So that's the first guy. Second is strawberry and Aruba Shores. And I'm not quite what, sure what the notes of Aruba Shores is, but if I had to guess, it's beachy, it's tropical, it's, it's all sorts of uh, summery. But, yep, I'm... It's kind of, I wonder if there's mango in it. I'm getting a little bit of mango or papaya or I'm not smelling strawberry, but I think it's mango. To my nose, it smells like mango, but this is, this is a really good fruity one. I think I want to chop this up and melt this pretty soon before the end of summer. Why not? Next, Island Fresh. Pink chiffon. Ooh, this is a nice laundry one. I don't think I've had laundry. I have been very blessed in the fact that I have received more than one box from Glitterati before. And I haven't had a laundry scent, but this one is definitely, definitely Island Fresh Gain. I'm not getting so much pink chiffon, but maybe that will come out a little bit on warm and as this cures a little bit more. These were just poured this month, so um, give a little bit more cure time. Next is pistachio pudding cake. I love this one. I would I would love to try her tropical pistachio too. Um, putting that out there in the universe too. <laughs> so, oh, that is so good. I love this. It's a single oil. It's so good. It blows me away every time. I I love this one. It's fabulous. Such a good one. Whoever's custom this was, great job on picking that. I love my pistachio. Next. Ooh, Amazon Blossom, Mango and Marine Minerals. This is very fresh, very fresh, and um, I'm here for it. I love mineral, uh, mineral smelling scents. I love it. Yep, that's there. I'm getting... A little bit of floral, which I'm assuming is from the Amazon Blossom. And I'm also, I'm getting that punch of sweetness from the mango. And that mineralesque aspect from the, um, the marine minerals. It gives that little bit of sea without, necess without being salty and not being completely aquatic. It's, it's a little, it's a mild aquatic, but it's a little bit more mineral to it, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to describe that one, actually. Okay, 
Mmm. Melon mist saltwater taffy. Ooh. This is this is a lot of fruit this time. I'm really happy with this. Mmm. That's really different. Different doesn't mean bad. Different means, mmm, I have never smelled this before. I'm definitely getting the saltwater taffy, first of all. And I don't know what is in melon mist, of course. It's not watermelon. It doesn't smell like watermelon to me. It's more of the honeydew cantaloupe family. That's nice, though. I am, I will definitely, I'm going to melt this pretty soon because um, I like the end of summer scents that I'm getting a lot of mixture here. And I know some people don't like the mystery boxes because they're very picky. You know, they only have, they melt this or melt this or melt this. But I guess I'm... I'm pretty much I'll melt anything type of person. I mean, I, I do love my bakery. I love my fruity. I love my earthy, but I will melt just about anything. So I love mystery boxes. I'm one of those ones that do. Next. I got two of the same. <laughs> two of the same. Island Fresh Pink Chiffon. Wow, that's okay. Double the fun. I can get, I can cut it and put it through my whole house twice now. That was great. That is great. Next, zucchini bread. I have never had a zucchini bread from Glitterati. Oh, I'm tickled pink. Zucchini bread, cake batter, strawberry pound cake. Wow. Mmm, that zucchini bread right off the bat. I can smell the strawberry pound cake. But it's got a little bit of extra creaminess from that cake batter. This is a really good blend. Great job on that one. Next, um, candy cane birthday cake. Candy cane birthday cake vanilla bean Noel. This is a nice one. Ooh, I love pe um, peppermint bakery. This one, it's got vanilla bean Noel. I smell. Some of these are a little lighter. Yep, I get the, I get candy cane and I get vanilla bean Noel. I'm not getting so much cake, but sometimes cake comes alive when it's warmed up here. It it really gives it a bakery aspect. This one I think has to cure a little bit because it is kind of light to me in the bag. So that one will, but that's a perfect one for winter time. Okay, home stretch here. Oh my. Pumpkin apple crisp vanilla ice cream. Ooh, this one. Oh, apple crisp. Oh my goodness. This just is apple crisp with a scoop of cold vanilla ice cream melting down onto that warm apple crisp. This is perfection. I don't get so much pumpkin from it. Pumpkin... I mean, I suppose that the spiciness of it is maybe the pumpkin, but this is perfect as it is. Pumpkin, no pumpkin. It's wonderful. I love that so much. Ooh, Calypso. Persimmon. Persimmon is not used very much in wax. Persimmon is not for everybody. It is a citrus family. But persimmon, citrus, papaya, lemongrass, sugarcane, white musk. Holy moly. That's a lot of different scent uh families in one little package the lemongrass boy that's an interesting component to mix with papaya let's see wow i can see this this is really hard to describe i get the persimmon i know what persimmon smells like it, it it's it's kind of um it's kind of hard to describe unfortunately but it is in the citrus family it's strong so the persimmon slash citrus and papaya, the, the, the richness of the papaya, to me, papaya is a very rich, juicy fruit. And I get a little bit of the lemongrass just because I know what lemongrass smells like. It's very strong. This is a very unique oil, unless these are six different oils that Janine mixes together, or this is a single oil, I'm not sure. But this one is unique to say the least. Unique to say the least. And finally, blueberry sugar 
Fruity Pebbles. Let's see what this one is. Typically, I'm not a blueberry sugar person. It's too sweet for me. It's too candy like. I'm not I'm not a I'm not in love with cotton candy. I'm not in love with straight candy scents like blueberry sugar. I like it mixed with things and this is perfect to mix with it because this Fruity Pebbles that Fruity Pebbles really tones down that blueberry sugar and almost gives it the fruit like quality that I like with my blueberry versus the the secondly sweet candy. But those are my 12 chunks from Glitterati. And um, this was the time where your um, uh, somebody else could sign up for you too. So my husband uh, signed up. He was like one of the last people on the list, I swear. There's maybe 15 people after him. So I should be getting my box whenever it's the end of the list time. So thanks for watching everybody. Thank you, Janine, for your craft and all these wonderful scents and see you guys soon.